Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one's entitled Planet X Debris Filling Earth's Orbit and Streaming into the Earth. Now, increased sighting of rocks in the Earth's atmosphere indicate increasing levels of Planet X debris reaching the Earth. These debris pieces have given rise to the asteroid belt and are thus usually known as asteroids. And you may look at Article 577 for more details. Now, these debris pieces are actually a part of the Planet X debris field, and the object called Oumuamua, which is long and flat, seems to also be a part of it, as are the many pieces of rock of a similar shape to Oumuamua with buildings on them, as detailed in Article 586 entitled Oumuamua Asteroid Spacecraft, or part of the Planet X debris field. So that's just the previous article. And here you can see Oumuamua. And here you can see a piece of rock that was seen over Peru. As you can see it's long and flat. And it has an irregular edge. So it's certainly not an artificial device. It looks like a piece of rock. Irregular uh, shaped. It's a rock. Now, uh, here we see some of the buildings that uh, have been seen um, suspended in the atmosphere. So they obviously built on pieces of rock. The pieces of rock don't seem to be very thick. They have been seen hovering over the ground like this one here. And this one was seen over the ocean. It's just ocean there. So there must have been a piece of rock floating there. And uh, they are usually immersed in cloud because cloud is part of the debris field of the Planet X system, as I have detailed in previous articles. And here you can even see some greenery. It's very green in places. And there seems to be other pieces of rock with buildings on them, um, just further behind these clouds. Ooh, it's more difficult to see them. But there seem to be shapes there as well. Now, the reasons why these cannot be mirages or holograms um, are detailed in Article 584 entitled Planet X, the reason behind GMO crops. So if you have any questions about that, I suggest you consult or watch that video. Now, here we see some of... Uh, other rocks that have been observed in the Earth's atmosphere and this one seems to be quite large. It does have a cloud envelope and uh, but it's not does not seem to be spherical. It seems to have a, a sharp edge here, a sharp angle. So because it's not sphere I don't think it is a stellar core, the, the core of a, one of these planetary objects that uh, died and turned into a core surrounded by a debris field. So this is most likely a piece of rock, but it is not long and thin, uh, flat and uh, like these ones that we have here. These, because they have buildings on them, are likely to be surface uh, debris pieces. So they belong on the surface of the planet. And here are some more of these rocks as seen in the clouds. And uh, as you can see, these are not uh, just clouds because you can see that they are sharp edges. These are obviously um, solid objects in the clouds. They are basically rocks in the clouds. And they suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. And so these are low gravitational energy pieces of rock that most likely got deposited at the Earth's orbit recently. You may look at William Magnolia YouTube channel for um, more of these. Well, it comes from one of his YouTube videos. As I have shown in previous articles, planets form from within and are ejected by a parent star. Planets do not form through asteroid pieces coming together. And thus, all asteroids in the solar system are Planet X debris. But since many of the long flat pieces have buildings on them, this suggests that the surface tended to break up into long thin pieces. And thus, 
objects like Oumuamua are from the surface of one of these planets. In addition, the fact that this piece of rock has maintained this shape suggests that the debris pieces do not collide with each other, most likely because they are positively charged and thus repel each other, just like the cores of planets also repel each other if they come too close for the same reason. This is contrary to the accepted physics view that asteroids are neutrally charged. And here's one of the stellar cores, one of the planet X system stellar cores. These objects, of course, are perfectly spherical because they are the core of what was once a living planet, but it's now a dead planet. So you get to see the actual core of the planet and the rest of the planet turned into a debris field. And that uh, those pieces of debris are coming into the Earth's atmosphere and we see them in the sky. And this one is most like was most likely a small moon core. I don't think it was a very large one. You can see that it is partially uncovered. That's because it's cloud envelope. As I said, they were always covered in cloud and cloud is just uh, water from the planets. And it is the envelopes probably uh, just breaking up and leaving uh, the object. So the object has most likely gained quite a bit of energy. They absorb energy from the Earth, gravitational energy. Now, since the planet X debris absorbs gravitational energy, as I said, from the Earth, increased amounts of debris coming into the Earth's atmosphere accelerates Earth's decline, which has already reached a dangerously low level, uh, which may soon lead to mass extinction of life on Earth as the Earth is quickly losing atmosphere. And you may look at Article 581 entitled Red Clouds Mean the Earth is Dying, Losing Outer Atmospheric Layer for more details. Now, the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter's orbit, which uh, you can see on this diagram here, and the asteroids in Jupiter's orbit, which you can see there, they're called Trojan asteroids, are planet X debris left behind by the stellar course on their way to the Sun. The debris will collect along the orbit associated to one of the Sun's energy levels. So each of the planets is on one of these energy levels. And so they will collect in these energy levels. So we know about the ones that collect in this energy level or around the energy level where, uh, which we call the asteroid belt. And it most likely collected at other energy levels, allowed energy levels, where most likely, well, not necessarily all of them have planets in them, but the ones that have planets in them most likely have a lot of these debris pieces in them. So solar system objects have equal electric and gravitational potential, but planet X stellar cores and debris have much lower gravitational than electric potentials. And that's why they remain suspended in the atmosphere. But their electric potential um, directs them to a certain energy level, which has that same electric potential associated with it. So they still end up in the correct uh, energy level, but once they enter the planet, they will remain suspended in the atmosphere because of their low gravitational potential. Now pieces, uh, so there will be pieces in the other orbit. So the orbit of Mars will have a whole lot of these objects in it, and so will Earth's orbit. It's not just the asteroid belt. And that means that pieces that will be slightly in front of the orbit will move faster, and they will eventually catch up to the planet and will stream into the planet's atmosphere. So this is what's happening with the Earth. So in conclusion, Earth's orbit and most likely all other orbits associated to allowed energy levels in the solar system must be filled with planet X debris or broken pieces of planets, which will continuously stream into the planet's atmosphere. And these are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.